Hi everybody, my name's Kitty and I'm going to show you how to get the HD60S to work with your Wavelink software. So I just bought the Wave 1 and whilst trying to set it up for my first stream, I realized that I could not find the HD60S as a hardware source anywhere. So when you start up your Wavelink software, when you go to create a new audio output, all of your hardware sources are down on the side. So we're going to show you that really quick. So when you hit add audio output, all of your hardware sources are down on the side here. Now the problem, as you can see, is that there is currently no HD60S, which is a problem because I definitely have one hooked up to my computer. So we spent a lot of time trying to research this. I think we spent about two days trying to figure this out. All we were able to find was a Reddit post where two people have said that they're having the exact same issue. There's been no official response that we can find. I tried tweeting Elgato and didn't get any response. So I submitted an official ticket request. Uh, when I did that, this is the response that I got. As it turns out, the only capture cards that will appear as a source in the game section are our UVC capture cards, the HD60S Plus, or the CamLink. The HD60S will not appear as a source in the Wavelink app at this time. Now, they've said that they have added this to their feature request list, but there's no timeline um, or anything like that. I also don't know if, for some reason, there's some difference between this and the Plus version that is causing, making it more difficult to capture the audio as a hardware source. Um, so just as you can see, this is officially from Elgato. That said, that doesn't mean that you can't still use your Wavelink software with your brand new mic in your streams with your HD60S. I'm gonna show you how I got it to work. Um, I'm not gonna say this is necessarily the best way, but at the very least, it's gonna work. So in your sources, you probably have your capture card. And if we look here, if I go to properties, there we go. So, as you can see, I've got Minecraft playing on my X, on my PS4 right now. You want to make sure that you have your audio outputting. So, again, this is what worked for me. I've got to output desktop audio direct sound. We're going to hit done. So, now I can mute this. So, this here is how I hear the sound coming through um, the PlayStation. So, if I mute this... This is going to stop your sound from hearing the game. So what you can do is you're going to go to add audio output. And I have one here named Slobs already. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to redirect your streaming software output through the Wavelink. So if you click on this button here, this is going to take you to the set system settings. You're going to be looking for... OBS 64 EXE. Uh, now, obviously, if you're not using OBS or slobs or something that runs off of OBS, you're not going to see this. So you're going to be looking for the processor, uh, the process that is your streaming software. So whether you're using the Elgato software directly, whether you're using XSplit um, or any of the others, you're going to be looking for that. And you're going to change the output to Wavelink Sys... Uh, Mine, I called it, it's actually the system uh, thing that I renamed. So you're going to change it to whatever uh, output, Elgato output, is your uh, slobs output. And now, you guys can hear the game through Wavelink. And as you can see, we can make it quieter, we can make it louder, and... Yeah, that's a really quick tutorial on how to get the Wavelink software to work with the HD60S uh, through something like Slobs. Now, hopefully they'll add actual HD60S support with the Wavelink software soon because the downside of this is that you're not going to be able to adjust the volumes of your game sound and your notification or sounds that come through your streaming software separately. So I'm really hoping that they add this 
because it would be really nice to be able to adjust those as sometimes it's a little difficult to hear the notifications right now. If you like this video, if it helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe and please check down below for a link to my Twitch where you can catch me live usually weekday evenings after work and on Saturdays. Sometimes there's a bonus stream on Sunday. So feel free to check that out if you wanna see the wavelength in action. We put the clip guard to the test almost every stream, regardless of what we're playing. I get loud. So thank you guys so much. I really hope that I was able to help at least somebody out and we'll see you guys all later. Bye.